Hi, so today we are going to create a project and this will be a hand-run session wherein we will learn how to make a library management project using Java technology and we will be using Git for hosting. So first thing is to create the repository and initialize it. So we will call it as LIBRL library management M -A -N -A -G -A. So this is a project which would essentially help us to maintain a library a short description this project helps to manage library and library books and assign them to students this is a public repository it would be initialized with the readme readme command will have some details so this is what is our repository which has been created now whosoever wants to contribute or do anything they are supposed to take the code from here so there are multiple ways if you want to use uh, github desktop uh, you have the option to show it uh, using or use it in the github desktop so I am trying to do that. This is the tool. You can give it the location wherever you want and then you can uh, clone it there. But what I am going to do is to I'll uh, you know follow a simple path, a simple way and I am going to do it using the clone, git clone command. If you copy this, you can go to yeah. any location. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, as it is an organization, like when I had opened my repository, I'm not able to see uh, projects by frame repository uh, in my repository. So, so they are different. So I'll uh, we will cover that. Um, I'll let you know how to switch that. But for now, let us clone this and then we'll move ahead. Give me a moment, please. So how I have organized all my codes it I have a git repository inside that I have my own fork or uh, my path projects so I'll go to my path projects inside this I have uh, I can clone so I'll say git clone and then I'll put it this this way it would start cloning so let the clone now this has been cloned so there are two options if you have atom you just do atom and dot enter it will open this entire project in the atom editor which it is trying to open it here but I want to use idea intelligence so let's do ls and then let's go to library management and once we do git we are git branch we are all set we are on the master branch so in the next um, video we'll see and we'll start coding on this so first part was setting up git repository so you guys can just clone the repository and then you guys can start working on this